What's up gamers, Aaron Shack here with some more camera tech uh, that I wanted to show you guys. We've done some reviews on some different camera equipment and this one is one that I've seen online and both in stores. And so I picked this up at a local Target because uh, I didn't want to wait on online shipping. But this is something that's compatible with your phones, your iPads, your laptops, your uh, DSLR cameras. And of course, it shows it even shows a little camcorder. Um, this is the Boya BYMM1 Universal Cardioid Microphone. Um, and just to give you a couple of details that we have here on the back, it's a cardioid polar pattern frequency response of 35 to 18 kilohertz, plus or minus three decibels. Um, sensitivity from negative two, uh, negative 42 dB. Uh, plus or minus 1 dB, um, 0 dB at is equal to 1 volts. Um, let me see here. Uh, signal to noise ratio, 76 dB SPL. Um, the plug is a 3.5 millimeter TRS and TRRS connector. Um, I'll leave the dimensions and the weight uh, <laughs> to someone else. Um, you can definitely spot that in the online description. Um, but let's go ahead, let's take a look at what's in the box and what they supply you with. This is really aimed to be something that's affordable for content creators. And so I think that's kind of what their market is, is that, you know, they want all these TikTok, Instagram, you know, if you're using this with your digital camera and other stuff, you know, they definitely want to target that audience with something that's affordable, but also at a level of quality. Because, I mean, if you're buying something like this, you're probably really invested in creating, like, high-quality content, you know, whether it's using your mobile device or otherwise. Um, so it's already got this, <laughs> this lovely little windscreen, and that's, that's certainly an option for you there. Um, let's see, we've got the... The mount right here, which has the uh, the cold shoe mount right there, which you can mount on top of your camera, and then just slip the mic in that in this clip right here. That'll fit nice and snug, and you can just clip it in. Actually, I won't clip it in right now because uh, we might we might look at some other things here. Um, okay, so we've got our cables here. All right, there's one. Here's another one. This one's probably more more prone to be used with your camera. Okay, they got some silica gel there. Uh, let's see. This is a Boya qualified certificate. Upon inspection and test, this product is qualified. Cool. And then yeah, look at that. A nice little like leather pouch with the with the Boya name to throw this in with some adjustable straps. Uh, pretty nifty little gadget there. Um, and let me see, I think you can also slide this out because you might not always want to use the windscreen there. Yeah, there we go. Just got to kind of gently slide it out of that. Um, it feels like it's kind of a felt interior there. So it's going to hold it pretty snug. But there's your mic right there. Pretty small little thing, but definitely handy. Um, just a quick look at the instructions to see if there's anything crazy here. Okay, so... Of course, this one here is your TRS connector. This one right here, TRRS, which is great for your smartphone, your tablet, your Mac. So you're gonna wanna, when you're plugging this in, um, to your you know, your iPhone or your Mac, you're going to want to go with this end that's got the three little rings around it, okay? You're going to want to do that. That's the TRRS, okay? So that's great for your mobile phone, your tablet, your Mac, your laptop, stuff like that. Um, for the cameras, the camcorders, the audio recorders, any other digital and audio recording devices, this cable will do just perfect. Um... Just taking a look at anything else that's available here. It's pretty basic stuff. It's it's pretty smart. 
Um, there are some specs here that kind of explain the polar pattern. And basically what this means here, without getting into like a bunch of tech here, is that from the back of the mic, you're not really going to get much of a pickup pattern. So if I'm speaking into the back of the mic, it's not going to pick up very well. But from the front of the mic and maybe just a little bit to the sides like that, you can see that there's there's a pretty good pickup pattern in sort of this semicircle right here. But if you're like going in directly from the side, it's probably not going to be super great. But you know, there's different miking strategies depending on what you want your sound to be. But obviously if you're using this for like speaking, singing into it, you know, for your TikTok videos or your Instagram, you know, whatever it is, any kind of short form content. Or if you're trying to use it with your digital camera for vlogging or something like that. Um, it's important to know all this stuff. So, kind of cool. It's got some uh, little troubleshooting section there. But yeah, instructions are pretty good. And then, of course, it comes with two stickers there if you w really want to start repping the boy a brand. Um, and yeah, right here, it just kind of shows how you can... I'll show you here how we can... Uh, I can get this thing to split apart. It, it seems to, like... It's really on there pretty tight. But yeah, it's got sort of a, a groove here, right there, where it's like a little thinner than most other parts. And that's where it shows in a lot of the pictures. Whew. Yeah, I just kind of had to press through this uh, middle part right there. You just press it through right there, and it'll, it'll grip it. And then you're good to go. And then, of course, you want to make sure the label is, is facing properly. I've had a lot of people do weird things, like with Shure mics and uh, with some of the condenser mics, like the AT2035 that I had. I've had some people actually mount them backwards and, and end up speaking into the wrong end. It's kind of hard to do with this one because it's, it's got kind of the silver grating here, and so you, you kind of should obviously know where it's at. But, yeah, then it's got the, uh, the mic input here at the back and so that's that's super easy if you're gonna hook it up to a camera which I got my Canon uh, 6D Mark II right here and I've got the hot shoe mount on top of the camera which I can showcase for you exactly how this would work in this type of shooting situation and you just slide it in and then you just tighten this little plastic screw right there you just keep twisting it. You don't want to get it super tight, but just tight enough that it won't fall off. And then, of course, you know, whether you're using a phone or a camera or other device, you just want to figure out where your mic input is, which I think mine's right. Um, yeah, right here. Sorry, I'm kind of used to the, the other camera. But yeah, there's a little input right there. And boom, we are good to go put this thing to use. It's a little tight right now, but we can probably loosen up the cable a little bit because it's it's sort of starting to tilt the mic backwards. But I I think this uh could be a nifty device. Um I've got other microphones that I use with my camera, but I wanted to have different options and more versatile and smaller options. So this is the kind of mic that could easily fit in my camera bag whereas like some of the other ones I have, like, I'd, I'd probably have to carry a backpack or something and have to worry about, you know, bringing tripods or, or having one of the larger mics m mounted up like that. But this one here um, looks pretty good, and it looks pretty stable. It's, it's, definitely, it's definitely weighing heavy on this, <laughs> this kind of cheap plastic red thing here. It's, it's definitely leaning back a little bit. And hopefully its grip here and the way they built it means that even if you're like running or wobbling around a little bit, which you probably shouldn't be, but you know, we'll definitely do like potentially in some of my videos, we'll do, we'll do some audio checks on that and see how it sounds if, if somebody were to be uh, handling the camera or moving it, or if you were trying to do like some moving footage and recording audio whilst doing that you know if you're at a concert venue and you want to move the camera around you don't want to hear a lot of mic feedback and stuff like that whatever it may be 
Um, but yeah, I think this is an interesting product and it comes in at a very nice price point. I believe this was $35. And so a nifty little device. And uh, I think it'll be the perfect little thing to take on the go. It's very small, as you can see. We'll compare it to a Nest controller. <laughs> Seems to work pretty well. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a relatively small little mic and pretty handy little device and I'm gonna put it through its paces and stay tuned for more on the channel you can follow my photography on Instagram I've got links in the description down below I've got a photography blog um, as well as the Shackcast podcast and all the other stuff that I do here on the channel but stay tuned we'll have more on this mic we'll definitely be running and putting it through its paces but as far as the initial unboxing um, the variety of equipment that it comes with and the fact that it's easy to pack up and have on the go and it comes in at a really reasonable price point, especially if you're wanting to upgrade from using your, your earbuds and your mic from that. I mean, please, it's <laughs> something like this or even a lavalier mic, you know, to put on a lapel or something like that um, would be leagues better. Uh, than simply just using the speaker on your phone or, you know, just using those those earbuds with the mic on that. So thank you for watching. Definitely hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Take care, be safe, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.